Master Nonverbal Communication in Debates. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's session. Today, we'll be focusing on a topic that can elevate your debating skills to new heights. Nonverbal communication and body language. Yes, you heard it right. What you don't say can be just as important as what you do say. So, let's dive into the intricacies of body language and its role in effective debates and discussions. Nonverbal communication refers to the cues, gestures, and expressions we use to communicate without words. These can include facial expressions, body movements, gestures, eye contact, posture, and the distance from your audience. Believe it or not, a lot of information can be conveyed without speaking a single word. It's important to keep these aspects in mind while debating to make sure your message is clear and persuasive. In the context of debates, body language plays a crucial role. It can significantly influence how your argument is perceived. For instance, maintaining eye contact conveys confidence, and an open posture can make you appear more approachable and convincing. Moreover, your body language can also give away if you're nervous or uncertain. So, it's not just about what you say, but how you say it and present it. Let's move on to some practical techniques you can adopt to improve your nonverbal communication. 1. Maintain eye contact. Eye contact is a powerful tool. It can show that you are confident, engaged, and trustworthy. But remember, there's a thin line between maintaining eye contact and staring. Make sure it's natural and comfortable. 2. Use gestures judiciously. Hand gestures can help emphasize your points and express enthusiasm. However, excessive or exaggerated gestures may distract your audience. 3. Control your facial expressions. Your face can communicate a lot of information. Be aware of your facial expressions when you agree, disagree, or are making a point. Keep them in line with your message. 4. Adopt an open posture. Stand straight and keep your shoulders relaxed. This can make you appear confident and open to dialogue. 5. Manage your proxemics. This refers to the physical distance between you and your audience. If you're too far, you may seem detached. If you're too close, you might invade personal space. Find the right balance. And that's a wrap on nonverbal communication and body language in debates. We hope you now understand the profound impact of your non-spoken cues and how to use them to your advantage. Remember, a powerful debater knows how to use both their words and body language effectively. So, practice these techniques and watch as your debate performance improves. See you in our next session. Happy debating!